What? You're wasting my time. I'm listening. Of course. Then just hand over your memories. Well, speak your terms. What do you want in exchange? I'm a demon. I can give you anything within reason. Money, men, women, power. Name it. Just make it worth the price. Are you serious? What do you mean, me? A human wanting to know more about a demon and the rules. You're really trying to step over your place, especially if you'll be losing those memories in the end. Completely willingly? And if you don't fulfill your end of the bargain? You are very lucky demon magic is so finicky. Why do you think demons make deals with humans like you? It's one thing to take your memories or your energy. It's another for you to willingly give it. We get more for our effort if the one we make a deal with is willing. Think of it like sex. If I'm aroused and you're willing to open your legs for me, I'll get pleasure. I'll enjoy it, you might enjoy it, and it's done. But if you aren't willing and I force myself on you anyway, it's not so pleasurable for me. Even if I get what I want, it won't be as worth the effort. A day is enough. Yeah, sure, fine. Yes. All right. So, what do you want to know? You're obviously curious about demons enough to make a deal with me. You may refer to me as simply Diana. As I said before, I'm a succubus, and I intend to bring the boys back home. Precisely. 
They don't belong here, and it's imperative that they return. Did they not tell you? They're runaway royals. Ah, so they didn't tell you. How unfortunate. You were in the presence of a demon prince and his noble brothers, and you didn't even know. Believe whatever you wish. The confusion will fade away soon enough, regardless. With the help of a human, in both of our cases, there's truly no need for details beyond that. Any human can cast a demon summoning spell. It's just a matter of what happens during the summoning and after where things get tricky. Well, if a human is willing, only part of their life force is taken from them, and they are given one chance to open a bridge between our worlds to allow the demon they desire to come through. The more demons come through, the more life force the spell takes. Luckily for the poor human that brought them here, the boy sacrificed some of their own powers to open the bridge instead of letting the spell feed solely on the human. The human lived, and the boys came through. Somewhat. However, I don't care to go into details about how I came here. You'll forget soon enough. You wish to have me around for more information. I get to decide what information to give. It's not cheating if it's not a broken rule. Mm, well, I believe I should head to bed. If I'm to stay here, then I need some form of sleep. Have a good night. See you in the morning. Ah, you're up. Come. Breakfast. I didn't know what you liked, so I made everything I knew humans ate for this time of day. And what is so funny? Like what? I haven't been in the human world long enough to know everything, alright? Unlike the boys, I know little to nothing about what you humans eat in your homes.
I already ate. You really wish to know. A plant from the abyssal plains. We call it a sweet flower. Would you like to try it? I must say, you may be the first human to try this fruit. You should consider yourself lucky. That it is. They're natively grown in my kingdom, so I have the pleasure of enjoying these every day. I do. The boys are not the only royals in the demon world, sweetie. I just so happen to be a princess. You flatter me, little girl. You best be careful. I may just take your flattery as an invitation to take your energy. Messy, aren't you? You had a little juice on the side of your lip. It was bothering me. And where are you going, might I ask? Ah, I see. Well, I don't exactly want you to leave this house with the memories you have. I'd be breaking the rules if I allowed that. Then skip school and stay home. That, or I go with you. I can't let you leave this house with those memories unless I'm with you. Rules are rules. The rules of the world, sweetie. The rules applies to any magical being that lives in the human world. They were established on a day you humans might know as the birth date of Jesus Christ. 
It's a story to some, a religious faith to others. I won't deny or prove a religion exists because that's a human matter. Magical beings, on the other hand, don't pay attention unless they're angels from the world of heaven. Stay, and I'll tell you more of these rules. Then I take your memories, now. I'll do the best I can. I'll give you the best answers I can give. They are the heart and soul of the human world, created and approved by all five worlds on the human date, December 25th. In human terms, there is the human world, heaven, purgatory, hell, and the abyss. These rules dictate the behavior of otherworldly creatures in the human world. Without them, there would be constant war between angels and devils, while the vampires would try and enslave humanity. Demons are merely the watchers, but often the devils or vampires will try and coax them into joining them. Yes, angels are from heaven, watching over the human world with a careful eye. Vampires are from the human world, but pass on to purgatory before rebirth. Correct. Humans, to the angels, need to remain pure and innocent. So they dictated that humans cannot know of the other worlds or of other beings. The rest of us agreed. Only a select few are allowed to know the truth about us. Well, take a look at yourself. You're barely proficient with magic. Your kind is too focused on who will fight the next war or who will screw the next person. I'm sorry to admit this. But humans are the weakest race in the planes of existence. The only ones who truly protect you are angels. Oh, you're not now. Really. Let's go on a little trip, shall we? Just a simple business office, nothing more. What the, who are you two?
Why, do you not know who we are? For shame, for shame. We are your employers. This lovely lady is the CEO of the company, and I am her personal secretary. You men, however, are late. One of you needs to come over here and kiss my foot as an apology. My ankle next. Proving to you how weak the human mind is. Water, a massage, another kiss. Oh my, is someone a little jealous? I have proven my point, haven't I? Oh well, I guess I got a little carried away. You're adorable when you're jealous. So, now do you understand the vulnerability of humanity? Ignorance is the only safety humans get to have. If humans were to know about us, do you know what kind of chaos would occur? There are already wars in the human world being fought amongst yourselves. Equality. Dominance. Power. The human world is practically the image of self-chaos. Innocent blood is spilled every day in your world. It doesn't matter the color or creed you carry. You think blood is spilt now? There will be much more if humans knew about otherworldly creatures. Our existences can destroy beliefs and human logic. Religions would crumble, and civil wars would clash. Paranoia would be a constant in every human mind. And soon armies will rise up, trying to defend humanity without true knowledge of who we are and what we can do. Vampires would be forced to retaliate and build armies of their own, and trust me, they're not as friendly as the vampires in your human fictional drabble. Devils would have a heyday and wreak havoc, finally finding a collective weakness in the human world to exploit. Angels would have to come down and fight their devil rivals, and the human world would become...
The rules are to make sure that we all stay at peace. To have us all fighting at once would result in a massive cataclysm that would engulf everything and everyone, no matter what you were. Demons already have enough on our collective plates. We don't need to become the backlash victims of broken ignorance. I'm fine. I was merely trying to prove my points. I still wonder who spread that rumor. Well, anyone who has met a Seraphim and tried to find out has not lived to spill the secret. I'd rather not get into that. It's not my place to talk about heaven. Only the angels. I had no choice. I was barely a child when the decision was made, and when I learned of it, I had accepted it. It didn't matter. My kingdom would be safe, and I would be able to live with knowing I was able to protect my kingdom.
I'd rather be unhappy than see my kingdom burn to the ground. Besides, as the bride of the next demon lord, I'd have the ability to change things. I could disband his armies, bring peace to the Abyssal Plains. Love. Love can't exist for me. I'm the most powerful succubus in the demon world. Anyone who would go after me would only be entranced by my power. You're a human, dear. You can't know when I'm using my powers or not. I could be using them now, making you interested in me to trust me. What? I do not. I'm merely fulfilling my end of the deal. You are interesting for a human. Is there anything else you wanted to know? I understand. Well, if you don't mind, there's one place I need to visit, and I'd rather visit it now than after I take your memories. I'll be gone from the area for quite a while, anyway. A cemetery. There's something I need to do there. It's boring, sadly, but I need to do it. You need to come with so I can watch you. No need to get dressed up. It's just a brief visit. Here we are. I had to pay my respects to this man. No, I wasn't a friend of his. I didn't even know him. You don't need to know. I highly doubt you knew this man. How do you know him? How...
This man helped the boys come to the human world. He opened a bridge and let them through, before sealing it with a part of his life force. I had come to visit their castle one day, and when they told me that the boys were gone, I became frantic. Without the contract marriage, the demon lord would have had the freedom to march on my kingdom and conquer it. I couldn't let that happen. So I tried to find a way here. I searched the castle during my brief visit, trying to find out where the boys went. I found it. This man left behind a small trace of his spell, small enough to be undetected by the inhabitants of the castle. Demon magic is best with consent, but takes more energy when forced. So, in a blind need, I recast the spell and used that man's life force to open the bridge once more and seal it completely when I walked through. I didn't know I was taking the rest of his life. By the time the bridge closed, the man had already passed. He was visiting someone in a nearby hospital, so when I left to find the boys, the staff had found him and tried to revive him. I didn't want to take his life. I thought he was a younger man. I didn't know he was as old as he was. It's my fault this man is dead. But I needed to come to the human world, and he was my only chance to get close enough to track the boys down. Your... your grandfather. Wait! I'm sorry. I didn't want to come here in the first place. I only thought of bringing the boys back to protect my kingdom, so everything else became secondary. I didn't mean to take his life. I did. I can't ask for forgiveness, but I still am sorry. If I could turn back time, I would find another way. I... Huh? I... I need to take your memories now. 
A deal's a deal. I fulfilled my part and told you everything. I had nothing left to tell you, and you can't keep those memories. I... All right. I won't take your memories. You're right. You deserve to know everything. It's the least I can do. Head back to sleep and I'll teach you more in the morning. I'll stay a few more days until you know everything. Rest. What am I doing? I need to get the boys and return home. My kingdom is in danger. <sighs> Maybe I should call an angel. But she... She makes sense. Why should I marry to protect my kingdom? I should be able to... Well, would I? Ugh. Me against the Demon Lord's entire army. I'm not that strong. She's strong, though. The magic in her veins would win me this war. Ugh. But I can't take her magic. I... care for her too much. But she's just a human. I... but... I need to leave. I have to fight him on my own. I'll use the rest of my energy to get back, and hopefully recover when I get there. I hope he hasn't already attacked, or is ready for me.
go back to bed. I need to go. I need to go. I'll be back someday. But I need to protect my kingdom. Without the boys, he'll attack at any time. And I need to prepare myself instead of waste my time here. Take care of those memories while I'm gone. You need to keep them secret at all costs. If angels find you, they'll... But I don't deserve your help. I... A tongue of ice, even when faced with danger. Come then. Help me open a portal, and I'll take you with me. You don't know how much this means to me. You intrigue me. <laughs> yes, you seduce me. <laughs> 